Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom maps for your Garmin GPS unit. Now, this is a feature that's been around for a while. It used to be kind of clunky. You'd have to take a image file and kind of match it up in Google Earth. It wasn't the most intuitive process, but there are newer tools out there that make it a lot easier. And also you have a lot more options in terms of the data that you can send to your Garmin device. So I'm going to walk you through that. And as a bonus, you can send them to Google Earth, which is really cool. And also Garmin Basecamp. So uh, let's dive in. All right, so the tool we're going to use for this is CalTopo, and I've talked about CalTopo before in other videos and other tutorials that I have. It's a very powerful tool. You can use it for a lot of things, including creating these custom maps to send to your Garmin unit. So I'm in Yosemite here. Well, I'm on the computer. I wish I was on Yosemite, but I'm looking at Yosemite. And over here, I can choose all different types of map layers. I can bring in Google Maps. I can do like a shaded relief whatever it might be. And this is how I'm going to create my custom map. So anything that's in here, I can make a custom map out of. Now you can do one layer. You can also stack other layers on top. And what I like to do is I like to take the map builder topo, which is right here because it has these really cool open street maps. And you can see there's a lot of good trail detail. There's a lot of mileages on there sometimes. Um, but I like to take this and then I like to overlay a scanned topo map and you can mess around with the opacity to whatever you'd like but somewhere in the 40s is good usually around here and now you can see that I've got this overlaid scanned topo map in here that has things like the geographic um, you know geographic names and different different things that are on a traditional topo map but I've also got these trails going through from the bottom from this enhanced OSM map so this looks good to me. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, one other thing, I can add objects to it. So let's add a waypoints. Let's put it way at the end of the stream here. We'll call it hidden spot. Change the style. So now this looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to prints. Doesn't sound too logical, but we're going to go to download KMZ. It's going to open a window and it's going to give us this bounding box where we can change the, the range of what we want to do. And you'll notice up here, I can choose the scale that I'd like to do it at. So let's do and I'll give you a little error too if it's uh, not going to work. Let's do download KMZ now it has downloaded this KMZ file, and now we can transfer this to the device. But before I do, let me show you some other tools that we can use to view this file, uh, which are pretty cool and might help you with planning your hike before you actually bring it onto your Garmin device. But actually, I lied. I want to show you something else first while we're in here. One of the neat maps that you can get from CalTopo is the National Park Service Visitor Map, which is the standard pre one um, that they have, you know, when you, uh, when you get the maps and everything at the visitor center, but it's nice to bring this onto your device as well. So you can pinpoint where you are in the park. Uh, so you can also export this and you can, you know, you can overlay things onto here too. It's not super helpful to overlay, but you could. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then, you know, same idea, export or print, sorry, to KMZ. And you can get what you need from here. So another cool option, but let's get back to what I told you we were gonna do originally and uh, look at that GPX file with some tools. Now, one of the cool uh, tools you can use with these KMZ files and custom maps is Google Earth. Now, Google Earth is a free program. It runs on your computer and you can download it from the Google site but it opens KMZ files. So if we open this, Google Earth Pro, we'll not only be able to view it, but it will kind of map the topography of it as well. So, okay, this looks pretty standard here, but I have my view controls and I can do things like this. This is where it gets cool. And look at that, look how awesome that is. 
So I can scan around, pan around, and actually see how the trails are mapped onto this topo map with this 3D relief. There, you can really see the lines there. So really neat way to look at your hikes. Um, what I like to do is I like to bring a GPX file into here first, and then I will look at it in the shaded relief model. And just remember, this is a model. This is not actual. It is based on surveying and probably satellite photos and different things like that, but it is a model. But still, it gives you an idea of where a trail goes. You can see this one's going diagonally up the ridge line. Here's one that's relatively flat. I think this goes to North Dome here. But very cool way to look at your custom map before you send it to the, the Google device so that you can get an idea of what the hike is like, what the topography is like. There's a neat one. So anyway, I could play with this all day. Let me show you uh, how this map can go into Basecamp as well, and you can plan around it. Okay, the other program I want to show you is Basecamp, and Basecamp is basically a navigation tool that allows you to create, manipulate GPX files. Um, it's free. You don't actually need a Garmin unit to use it. You can. It's a good tool for GPX files in general, and uh, it's free download for Windows and Mac. I have the link in the corresponding article on Hiking Guy, so if you don't have it, get it there. Here I have some open street maps loaded on here that are free. I also have an article for open street maps, getting free maps for this, and that's on Hiking Guy as well. Let's go ahead and turn off the maps and put it on this global map, which is pretty worthless. This is what you get when you download Basecamp. But let's take this KMZ file and drag it in here. And boom, there you can see it's overlaid, this map on here. And I can zoom in. And see what I would. And from here, I can create different waypoints that I'd send. You know, junction, whatever. I can create everything except for um, routes. Custom maps are not routable, which is an important distinction. It's not a big deal because I navigate by tracks as anyway. And you can see how easy it is to create a track here so that you can make sure you're on the right trail, right place here. And there's my track. Let me get rid of this. You can see it's got the track and junction on here. Now I can also turn on these free maps that I have, and it will put let me get off of this. It will put the actual map data from Garmin onto here as well. You can see there's my open street map, and it kind of blends in with this custom map on top. So that's Basecamp. So another powerful tool to use your custom maps, your KMZ files. Now let's go ahead and send this to the device. Okay, so the first way you can transfer this to your device is you plug in your Garmin to the computer and make sure that it's in, um, I think it's called USB mass storage mode, which means the computer's gonna see it as a disk drive. And you can see here it's shown up on the side here. I'm going to go into the folder Garmin, and then I'm going to find a folder called Custom Maps, which is right here. And then all I do is I take my KMZ file, and I pull it in here and copy it over. Now, important note, um, Garmin has some specifications about how big a KMZ file can be, and also different Garmin GPS units um, have some limitations on how big of a, or how complex of a KMZ file they can accept. So I will include a link to those specifications in the article. Um, but in general, for a map like we just did there, it's not a problem. I've never bumped into a file size or, or specification problem. So it's as easy as that. Now it's on there, and I can access it on the device. But before we do that, let me show you how you can do it through Basecamp as well. So let's go ahead and delete this from here so it's not on there. And we will confirm that it got sent through Basecamp. All right, I'm back in Garmin Basecamp where we were just looking. You can see my custom map is right here. And you can see I've got my GPS unit plugged in. It's pretty simple to send the map. You just hit this transfer button up here. 
And one of the options is Garmin custom maps and imagery. It's a little deceiving because it's not a Garmin custom map, but it is a custom map. So let's go ahead and send it. And now it is allegedly done. So let's go look in that folder and see if it's in there right now. And here we are back at the folder and you can see it has copied it into there. So now that the map is on the device, let's go ahead and look at it, what it looks like when you're on the device. Okay, so once you're on the GPS unit, it's pretty simple. I'm in the Maps page right here. I'm going to hit Menu. I'm going to go to Map Setup. And then I'm going to hit Configure Maps. And you can see up top there, there's Custom Maps. Here are all my other maps, which I can easily turn on and turn off. But we're going to go up to Custom Maps, and boom, there it is. So let's go ahead and click on it. And it will show us the map here, and we can pan around look around on it, but there it is. Decent amount of detail um, all on there. And we can also um, we can go to this and we can disable it as well so that we don't see it. But if we do want to use it when we are here at Yosemite and we are on this point, this uh, map will show up automatically when we're going. If we, again, if we want to get rid of it, we just disable it, but it will be there um, when we hike there. So that's it. Not too, uh, not too tough, is it? Now, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments on YouTube and I will do my best to answer them. If you are watching on YouTube, as always, if you could give me a little thumbs up button that will help other people find the video. Hopefully uh, I'll learn how to do this and have a nice, nice little tool in their toolbox to use with their Garmin device. All right, guys. See you later.